Oh, hey, how you doing? Uh, my name is Mr. Grand, and I teach in the uh, Brookline High School program in social justice leadership, and I want to tell you all about that. It's a great program for juniors and seniors. You know, at its heart, it's all about you finding your passion, the thing that you're most passionate about, the thing that really interests you about injustices and changes in the world that you want to address. Uh, and it's all about learning how to be an activist and a, a social justice person who goes about and makes the change. You know, I teach history class, and I can say, like, uh, all history classes, we learn about the most amazing things people in the past have done. This program is about you learning how to be that person that makes that change, whether it's about reproductive rights for women or modern slavery, privatization of water, uh, access to healthy food, racism, inequality, and education. This program is for you if you're interested in any of those issues or you think you want to become interested and know how to be a change agent in this world. It's a one-year program. Uh, it's one credit. Uh, and i got to tell you, you know, a lot of people think that uh, students your age, well, what can you really do at your age? How much difference can you make? You know, right now I've got students who are doing amazing stuff on this program. This group of students who are leading the Brookline Literacy Partnership, working with an elementary school in Boston, yeah, tutoring, bring uh, kids all sorts of literary, literary, uh, literacy resources. Uh, I've got Food uh, Justice Committee who's working on creating a community garden and doing all sorts of benefits for the emergency food pantry in Brookline. And of course there's the Global Women's Health Group which is partnered with uh, girls and women in Nepal. And uh, here's our groups right here. Get that in focus. Okay. This is high tech. Yeah, they're uh, they're working to help uh, get girls and women out of sex trafficking. They're often forced into. Um, so once a week we meet small groups, which is great for discussion. Uh, you have an internship. Fantastic organizations, 20 organizations in the Boston area, uh, like Bikes Not Bombs or Mass Equality, that uh, place you, Brooklyn High School students, right in the heart of social justice in the Boston area. Uh, and then once a quarter, you got a full day field trip. First uh, quarter, we have a full day just looking at race and racism. So it's a deep examination. You know, you don't really have uh, that sort of time to give that attention to race and racism. It often it comes up here and there in classes. So a great opportunity. Second quarter, we look at incarceration. You know, the United States incarcerates in prisons more people than any other country in the world. So what's going on there? We try to work that out. We spend half a day talking to prisoners at a prison. They tell us their stories. It's an incredible conversation that we have. Third quarter, we learn about, uh, you've got your, this issue you're passionate about. How do you actually make the change? Uh, so we look at political organizing, do a training on that. And then fourth quarter, we do this uh, toxic tour, work with this group called Ace in Dudley Square in Roxbury, who gives us an environmental justice tour of the neighborhood. Uh, so look, you got to apply for the program, and I really encourage you to do so. Check it out. Check out the website. And here's some more information on that. Uh, it's at BH. Okay, there we go. Yeah, BHS Social Justice. That Weebly.com. BHS Social Justice. That Weebly.com. The application's there, and everything you want to know about the program is uh, is there as well. I'm going to do a few info sessions. And here's the last thing I'll tell you. Come by and learn a little bit more about the, the program uh, besides just looking at the website. Uh, Thursday, March 15th, X Block. Tuesday, March 20th, after school. And Wednesday, March 21st, after school. Hope to see you around. Bye bye. Let's see if I can, uh, if I can figure out how to turn this thing off now. Uh, right. I guess uh, that's it right there.